Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now this uh, PC's been really infected with a lot of different types of rogues and I wanted to give uh, ESET's rogue removal tool a quick blast to see how it fares and how many it removes and whether it allows us to run stuff from the desktop. Now this is a free program you can download. There's a 64-bit version. It's called ESET Rogue Application Remover and uh, they also do a 32-bit version um, which is exactly the same as the 64 bit but it's just for different uh, architectures for Windows operating systems so what we're going to do here is we've got a load running and I'm just going to run this and see what happens and see if we can get our system back up and running now there is more than one rogue on here it's just that only this one is running at one time um, but we'll just give it a run and see what happens and see if we can get our system freed up so we can then run Malwarebytes because if I try to run Malwarebytes now um, it will block it and it won't allow me to do anything so let's run this anyway so I'm going to quickly right click on this and run this as administrator okay so there we have our little box so I'll just pull this down here so we can see what we're doing and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, it would it just basically says do you would like to submit a usernet report to ESET and we're just going to say no here you can uh, submit one to them and what, what's happening here it's just going through some uh, basic tests uh, and it cleans that off as you can see it went through 10 phases here and it now cleaned that rogue straight off the system now it wants to go through and do some other removals as you can see so what we're going to do here it's found 16 uh, entries here by the looks at one of 16 so it's just going to remove these from there and you can see it's in the roaming folder here so I'm just going to say yes to that and let it remove it you just have to put a Y in and then I'm going to actually do another Y to say yes to remove uh, another file that's been found in the uh, local folder in the Windows installer folder there is another file uh, syshost.exe so I'll just say yes to that as well run that it's now doing a, a full registry scan of my system and uh, what it will do is it will remove any keys that have been left behind so we'll just let this run and let it do its thing now to remember is it's not going to find every virus on there what it's going to do is free up your system so you can then run other applications some other ESET applications Malwarebytes and also uh, Hitman Pro and some other tools that you may have okay so we'll let this scan finish and we'll see if we can uh, do a quick scan with Malwarebytes okay so that's the actual scan now finished and as you can see it's uh, found some other stuff in program data um, so there's some stuff in there so I'm going to say all to that I suppose because it's yes no and all so I'm going to put all and that will remove everything in one hit as you can see and as you can see there it's removed a fair bit from there okay you can see these files in the roaming folder and stuff like that there's a few different areas that it's found some stuff and to be honest it's been pretty successful now it's asking me to send a report uh, to ESET live and I'm not gonna waste their time because these are all been tested um, I don't want to open up a website and I'm going to push any key to continue and basically we have now got our system back up and running as you can see which means now we're freed up to actually run other programs okay so let's give Malwarebytes a quick blast and see what we can find now we've uh, done that okay so I'm just going to quickly check for updates and then we'll do an actual scan with Malwarebytes now I'm I know it's going to find some other stuff on the system because I wouldn't expect that one little program to remove everything from the system but it has freed up my system to run these tools and we've done all that from the desktop which is pretty useful okay so that's the scan nearly finished now and you can see it's found another 31 uh, files let's have a look here and as you can see there are a lot of fake um, rogues and stuff like that and it has left a lot of stuff behind in the temp folder but you can see that the actual processes are not running and uh, that means we can run other 
tools. So you can see there's nothing running here apart from uh, Malwarebytes and some other bits and pieces which are Windows based programs. So these are all actually being killed and this is just remnants left behind. So what we can do here and some of this is in uh, the actual downloads folder here which really is the stuff that I've downloaded so I'm not going to um, class these ones here um, up from there to there as uh, actual finds on the system because they are actually ones that I've used okay but all the other stuff is basically um, temporary stuff and other rubbish on the system so let's remove all this stuff anyway okay want to quickly restart so I'm going to quickly do that Okay, so we're now back at the desktop, and what I'm going to do now is just run one more program. I'm going to run Hitman Pro just to see if there's anything left uh, behind. But basically, I think that's been pretty uh, a useful tool to free up the system so you can actually run programs like these or any other reset program that you may have. So it's been a very useful program to, to have in your arsenal to fight against malware. So uh, these are just rogues, basically. These tools are basically just for rogues really but it's a pretty useful tool to have so we'll just let this run it's found some more stuff and this is in the actual uh, folder on my desktop okay so we can see here now we have uh, some stuff that's been on the desktop inside a folder called rogue and to do and these are just the ones that I've actually clicked on all the rest of the stuff is these ones up here which were left behind in the temp folder um, so there's only two really all this other stuff was inside here and I'll show you it's in this folder here and it was just these types of files here okay so let's uh, run this and get rid of these just quickly activate okay so what I'm going to do next is just go next and remove these okay there's been a couple of left behind here but that's not a problem so we'll just get rid of those and we'll just check some of the areas here to see if there has been anything left behind so I can see a folder here with just icons really they're not there's junk they can't run there's nothing in them to run Let's try the uh, roaming folder. That looks pretty clean. And just a bit in the temp folder, let's have a look. Okay, there's a lot of temp stuff there that will need to be emptied, and I should imagine they're just remnants of stuff that's been left behind. So I'll just quickly highlight that and skip that one and that's pretty much a done deal so all in all that's been pretty useful and that is the ESET uh, rogue application remover it removes rogues on a 64-bit and a 32-bit machine pretty useful to have uh, so give that a blast if you've got any rogues and, and it will should take care of them so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.